AX2009 for retail introduced specific pricing and discount options that are used at POS. POS also uses the standard AX trade agreements to determine the uh, base price that is used for these sales transactions. Those trade agreements can either be configured for the item or for the specific customer or customer group. In addition, trade agreements are also being used to set uh, prices for uh, or different prices per store. In addition to that, there are very specific discount offers that uh, are only being used in PUS. There are two very distinct offers. One is called a promotion, which is a temporary reduction of uh, the sales price, and the other discount offers are essentially treated as an expense from an accounting perspective. The promotion and the discount offer behave essentially the same. They allow you to specify like an amount off or a percent off for a specific deal price for uh, an item. The multi-buy discount is a quantity discount. You specify a quantity threshold at which a discount percentage or a specific price point gets into effect. The more interesting one is the mix and match discount. This really allows you to specify uh, that specific items have to be purchased before this discount applies. For example, you could configure a, a discount offer that states that you have to buy uh, some pants, two shirts, and you get a belt f uh, for free. POS looks at all trade agreements, either customer or item specific trade agreements and then takes the best price resulting from that. If there is no uh, trade agreement specified for an item, it will also take the sales price that is specified on the item dialog into consideration. This base price is then used as a basis for uh, applying other discount offers as we see later. For discount offers, the important thing to understand is the priority that you can specify when you configure that discount offer. So POS will take the discount with the highest priority, in this case the lowest number, and then apply that on top of uh, the uh, base price. In this scenario, we have the three discount offers defined. The discount offer with priority one gives 10% off, a multi-buy with priority 2 would uh, provide 20% off for this item, and the mix and match priority 3 would uh, also provide a 20% discount for this item. But POS just looks at the priority and says we're applying the 10% off, so the item price will be $9 in this scenario. There are two ways to configure um, store specific prices in AX. The first one is going from the item and then create a trade agreement here. We specify a new one here. The relationship here has to be all since it will apply to all the customers. And then we're providing a new price of let's say $9. The next step you have to do is here under setup, you specify which stores will receive this trade agreement. So in this scenario, I'm set up as store 10, so I will just assign it to store 10, but it also could be a group of stores, like here we're showing the outlet stores, etc. So this is all you need to do, and then the uh, schedule a job will figure out where those trade agreements will be sent. The other option is on the price discount agreement journal. You create a new journal and then here you specify similarly which store or store group will receive it. So we'll select store 10 again and then the rest is just standard EX configuration of a trade agreement. 
select the price here, same thing, account code applies to all customers. And then we'll pick a different item this time and specify the price here. And the next step is to just post it, which will create the trade agreements and it will also then the schedule a job. If you run an A job for item, it will download the trade agreements accordingly. So in here in PS, if we then ring up the item for which we just set a, a price for this specific store, as you see, it applies the nine dollars that we just created. Next, we will take a look at the retail-specific discounts. First, we will configure a simple discount offer. Just create a new one. Call it whatever for shoes. And then, the key thing here, as I mentioned earlier, here you can set up the priority to specify in which order those discount offers apply. Here we'll just leave the default. And then there is another interesting thing that's the validation period. You could set a standard, uh, just a simple start end date, or you could specify some advanced options. For example, I have set up here a happy hour deal. So you can specify that it applies for the month of August and between 4 and 6 p.m. and only on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. In addition, you can actually override some of those settings as well and say, for example, on Thursday it's actually from, from 3 to 6 p.m. For this example, we just leave no validation period. It will apply the whole time. So we actually add the items that the discounts applies. In this scenario, we pick a retail group, and it's the men's shoes. And we're saying 10% off. And then we add another line item here. It's the retail group for women's shoes. And we specify a 15% discount for this. Then the key thing is, by default, the status is disabled. So that gives you the option to configure this discount without POS picking it up. So we're saying we're done, we enable it, and then the next thing we'll do is we specify which stores will actually receive it. So we're just going to pick a store. In my scenario, it's going to be store 10. And then this discount offer will be sent to that store. The next thing is a, a mix and match discount. This is somewhat more interesting because it allows you to specify different options. So for this we use, for example, skateboards. We want to put some sale on that. The same thing here, you can set the priority. And then here are some additional options that this mix and match discount provides. Deal price means you can specify if you say, you know, you have to buy three different items from three different departments. If that criteria is met, here's the price, for example, whatever, $20. Or you can specify that you will receive a percent off or an amount off. The least expensive one will specify that the least expensive items that are qualified here will be for free or the other one is line specific where we, you can specify at each line level what discount offer you will provide. So for this scenario we'll pick line specific. So we add a new line. Okay, So we add the items to this. We'll pick uh, the retail group and we'll pick SP100, which is the skateboard, and we're saying uh, it's a zero percent off. And then the line group that specifies which line items have to be part of this group before they qualify. So what we do here, we create an, two line items, one for two. That means you have to buy two items in this group, and we're creating a second one 
with one light in it. So what we're setting up here is saying we want to, if you buy two skateboards, you get a set of wheels for free. So we now pick the retail group for the uh, wheels, SP102, and here we're saying the discount is 100%. You get this one for free. And we're picking line group one. That means you only can one, only one item will qualify for this. And then the same thing you could specify as, you know, the discount validation period. When is it valid? And the last thing we need to do is specify which uh, stores will actually receive this discount offer. I'm going to go back in here and set it to store 10 again. So now in POS we can add a men's shoe here. And it shows the 10% off and shows you the discount name that we specified. Now we add the uh, women's shoe. And here you see it in the 15%. And for the last one for the skateboard, so we add one skateboard here. We add the skateboard wheels. You see at this point it's still full price. And when I now add a second skateboard, we are seeing the 100% discount applied to the, the wheels.